village house, which is becoming a rare site in a city like Singapore, which is a concrete jungle. Masjid Orma Salma, which stands on an elevation overlooking Road Mashhor, is one of the few remaining village-style mosques left in Singapore today. The mosque and its surroundings remind us of a simpler time now forgotten. Built in 1973 to serve the area around Kampong Jantai, nearby village at the time, the mosque and its surroundings remain relatively undisturbed. The building of the mosque was also prompted by the large numbers of non-villagers working in the vicinity of the mosque who descended on the village's prayer hall for Friday prayers. The mosque also served the nearby village, Kampong Nakat, at Onred Road. This old generation mosque is situated in a rather isolated area of central Singapore, near Mount Pleasant Road. Sai Ibrahim bin Omar al Sugaf, a prominent member of the al Sugaf family, which was an Arab trader's family, financially supported its construction and named the mosque after his parents, Sai Omar and Salma. It can accommodate up to 300 worshippers and holds activities such as the Korban, Eid and Friday prayers. The mosque today is an expanded version of the original mosque and it is through generous donations and a team of unpaid volunteers that the mosque, which now operates on a temporary occupation license, survives. Due to its location and the prime land it sits upon, Masjid Omar Salma has been frequently threatened with demolition. The mosque's land is still owned by the government and it was not bought by the Arab trader, Mr. al Zagaf, who erected the mosque, meaning that the government could seize the land at any moment. For the time being, the land has to be renewed every year for the mosque to continue running. The plan by Moors, the Islamic Religious Council of Singapore, is to have a common mosque for people in one area for prayers and other events. While it is a good move on their part, it also means the demolition of small mosques such as Masjid Omar Salma. Hi, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ala Fazana, and this is Masjid Patambara Malayu Sambawa. Translated as Malay Settlement Mosque in English, or sometimes known as Masjid Kampong Tengah. This is one of the last Kampong mosques in Singapore. And Kampong is also nearby village. Kampong is a word for, my, uh, for Malay people in Singapore. It's like a common word. Uh, Kampong is a common word in Singapore. Constructed in 1963, the, the mosque is simple with only one floor and a single mineral with an onion shaped dome. This mosque came close to being demolished in the 1980s as residents stayed around mosque area began to move out of the compounds into public housing. But was thankfully allowed to continue at its current site. Many original elements like the doors, gate, walls and windows have been preserved and unchanged since 1963. Although the mosque is remotely located, it is still active during Friday prayers and Ramadan. Weekend madrasa classes as well as religious classes continue to be conducted within its premises. When you arrive, we admire the rubber trees at the entrance, which are the last few leftovers of the rubber plantation 
that used to exist in the area. It's one of the area where you can enjoy long forgotten, quite old world charm. Though the mosque is usually pretty quiet, special occasions such as Ramadan and Hariyaya, Hariyaya is meant by Eid, can see it being packed with congregants, many of whom grew up alongside the mosque and still use it as a familiar meeting spot for old friends. This is all about Masri Patambala Malayu Simbawal. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Last weekend of school, and we have a uh, Islamic study and graduate class. Uh, before COVID 9, uh, we have uh, several classes, uh, but uh, uh, after COVID 19, uh, online class. The only thing that we コロナとかはないけど、僕たちは、あんなが私たちに助けるけど、私たちはコロナとかは関係ないけど、私たちはコロナから僕たちのコロナがどうどうくさせるようにちょっとしたいけど、でも僕たちをなんか全員を助けて
10 square meters. It is about 300 meters away from Tampanese Bus Interchange and beside our Tampanese Hub. Masjid Dharagu Front was completed in December 1990 and was officiated by Mr. Haji Otman, Member of Parliament. It was designed by the Housing and Development Board and originally had a brown brick facade. The mosque closed for renovation in September 2016 and reopened on 22nd March 2019. The renovation and expansion works increased the capacity of the mosque to meet growing demands. The mosque plays an important role in the community to help with prayer and education. The mosque now can, can accommodate 5,500 worshippers, which makes it the largest mosque in Singapore.